So Stream Elements, why it is the best service for you as a streamer. Coming up. So hello there, my name is Nick Nixon and I'm full-time online entrepreneur and I stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. The, my handle it will be right here. You can check it out if you wish and come by and say hi. So Stream Elements, why it is one of the best services ever that you could use for your stream and why you should immediately start using it uh, no matter you like it or not like it you just immediately start using it and check it out we're going to talk about this in this video so what stream elements is stream elements is a huge service for your stream that allows you to have different alerts for your stream different widgets for your stream it allows you to have a different additional functions to your stream including chatbots including donations etc etc the list goes on we would talk about all uh, the features in depth it would take probably an hour or so so we're gonna talk about this in uh, the other videos so today I'm gonna give you an overview of what actually stream elements is and why you should consider uh, using it and what is the best way to show you actually what stream elements is than uh, showing you it on an actual computer so without further ado let's jump into my computer and see what it is so okay we are here at my stream elements dashboard you can go through the stream elements dashboard by getting to streamelements.com and connecting uh, your any of your uh, streaming accounts it can be your twitch your youtube uh, your mixer i think from the recently it, it was not mixer was not added but now it is added and facebook as well so you can uh, go through your uh, channels from this for a different platforms so as you can see there are a lot of things here for stream elements like a dashboard theme gallery etc so we're gonna go through uh, them one by one to give you an overview of whatever is happening as you can see this dashboard is showing you the things that's happening the like tips your followers subscribers bids host rates exemptions etc etc so uh, the dashboard gives you overview basically whatever uh, is happening on your stream as you can see yeah stream elements mixer support officially launches it's it's very very new thing of uh, for here so uh this is very important thing you can go to dashboard and get information about your uh channel overall and you, this will be a very good source of your analytics mind that uh it is not as accurate as the twitch's analytic itself because uh twitch has a really good ability to differentiate bots from the viewers while stream elements they did they do not differentiate well, let's say if the stream uh, with the twitch is said will say like you had uh, five viewers for your channel uh the stream elements will say we have, we have tw 12 or 15 viewers because there are a lot of bots lurking around uh on twitch so you have to be mindful of that you'll have uh, you'll have much higher numbers uh some sometimes mm, or from a stream elements so just be mindful of that uh let's go through the things that whatever is happening right here the second uh tab is themes gallery as you can see if we go to themes gallery you're gonna have a lot a lot a lot of different and free themes available for you different flares uh different colors different animations you can have a, let's see if you have uh, if you're Fortnite player like this one would be really good llama animated team if you press preview you're gonna see exactly what it is in animation and stuff like it gives you a like, alert stuff uh, stream starting soon which looks pretty great if you are a Fortnite streamer or probably any other streamer as well uh, like if you have for let's say let's preview the force field theme you can see it looks pretty nice I would say a bit uh, way too busy like there are way too many stuff happening all at once and this will be probably very taxing for your computer but still i'm pretty sure you'll find a force field theme uh without an animate oh yeah exactly this one without any animations just static scenes which will be far less taxing for your computer so themes gallery is a very good uh way to get stuff for you as you can see we have a lot of widgets as well like 3d subscriber alert box this is everything is pretty new here credits roll high bar holidays text rotator like there are a lot of things uh happening here that you could uh, use for uh, your streams um you could just mix and match from around and play when you press create it will uh jump it down to my overlays and this is my overlays that i use right here and what differentiates stream elements from anything else is that every single overlay that you use on your stream is saved on a stream elements website meaning that uh, if i have uh let's say um, let me give you an example an intermission let me see uh, let me open overlay like press launch overlay 
If I press it, it will launch overlay in the separate window. And as you can see, like my intermission, this is my intermission, exactly whatever, whatever is happening on my stream, right in the browser window. What I, what I do is I will just uh, take my browser source and put it in uh, in my stream and that's it. Like put my, my browser source in my stream, I will have it right then and there available for me, like without a problem. And I will not need to, uh, put any separate things like uh, like text of my Instagram or text of my YouTube channel like separately. I don't need to do anything of that. Everything will be at once and all I need to do is my add my camera. That's it, which is extremely, extremely handy to use. Next is chat stats. If you press here, it will, it will take you to the chat stats. For some reason, it's not working for me, uh, but it's okay. It might work for you. You have an activity feed showing you exactly whatever has been happening to your streams, like your followers, etc., your tips, your subs, etc., etc. Then you will have a media request, uh, which allows your users of your viewers to request different songs and different media from right from your stream from your stream chat uh, this is a profile page that shows you and allows you to customize your profiles page basically uh, this is social media you can add a different social media like twitter facebook and the majority of this stuff is not available uh then it's not it will become available in the future but for now the twitter is the only thing that is available obs live tab is of course uh, all about the obs live plugin you can download it from here uh, i talked about obs live in the previous video so you can check it out as well if you're interested in what obs live actually is and by the way the majority of things uh, you could do here you can uh do from your inside of your obs from your obs live let's say if you want to edit your overlays you can do it from obs right from obs studio through obs live you can see your activity feed there you can use the media request and everything like majority of the things that you need to uh, control uh right away you could do it from your obs live and you can see it, you can, it allows you to customize the stuff on however you want the next big tab i can say is the revenue it, it gives you a tipping settings for your stream and allows you to have like different tippers etc etc if you're, if you're getting any donations then it's good for you Aha, i'm not getting any donations so yeah that's it's nothing for me it will, it will show you the revenue history for you and additionally it has a merch store so you could set up from uh stream elements so stream labs has the same thing as well and it's good that stream elements is providing providing you with some stuff as well you can have shirts tops hoodies mouse pads mugs stickers and much more and plus, plus it gives you the overview of the profits you could get and it as it says i don't know i'm not sure about that stream elements is give you the highest profit available like far higher than stream labs and plus it is integrated through the stream so you can get uh, from 25 dollar shirt you can you are getting a 14 dollars of profit unlike the stream labs when you get only 10 and unlike the design by humans when you get only three or by amazon when you get only nine dollars i'm not sure about that i cannot talk about this number because i'm not selling this but if you are uh, interested in merch if you have merch uh, then this would be probably interesting for you it shows you how stuff works etc etc so if you are a, a larger streamer then you can have this without a problem but for for me it's not not available so uh it's okay then you have a loyalty settings meaning that you can give a uh, loyalty points to your viewers and it shows you your current and all time highs of uh the points basically it gives you like available to have a stream store meaning that you can uh sell items or different redemptions or whatever virtual items or whatever you want through the loyalty points as well you can set up contests from here with the loyalty points and you can set up giveaways from right here as well it, which is a really powerful thing and allows your viewers to have more fun and like be incentivized to come to your stream more often if you have a good loyalty point system i have loyalty point system but unfortunately i don't have any uh, ability to spend those loyalty points so I i'm i'm gonna have to think about this more uh, last but not least is of course bot a bot is a really powerful uh, option for the stream and it allows you to have a lot of modules inside your stream and bot is pretty powerful you can set up a, a, any bot that you want uh, in my case 
my name I, I am the bot in my chat so I it feels like I'm typing in the chat uh, myself so I my bot is not a moderator or anything my bot is actually owner of the channel and you have you can have a chat alert inside you can set up from right here uh, you can have a roulette it's a, a game that you can play bingo raffle you can start building an emote pyramid if you want uh, you can start duel with other, another players or other viewers you can go with an eight ball you can go with a slot machine you can have a twitter stream tweets in real time to your twitch chat if you want uh, you can have an emote combos and you can have a live announcement. So basically when you go live, the chat will tell uh, the stream, the bot will sell, tell the chat that you are alive. I don't know why it's useful. Uh, it's probably useful for the people who are lurking around in your chat while you're offline. But I'm pretty sure they will see that you are online when you when you are live, etc. Et I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Uh, you can manage the users from here. Manage your... Um, different uh, moderators etc etc uh, then you can go and set up your own chat commands if you want it can be a default command it can be you can see there are a lot of default commands right here you can have set up costs for the commands as well you can have a custom commands if you want you can set up a spam filters basically giving you ability to be a moderator for your chat I'm, I'm not uh, using this a lot because uh, I don't have a lot of viewers and you can set up a timers meaning that uh, from time to time uh, it will allow you uh, to the bot will just type some stuff from time to time that's it that, that's what, what does it mean so I'm gonna go uh, through all of this if you want in very in deeper uh, meanings let's show you I will show you like how everything works in the other videos because there are some stuff that requires separate videos like the tipping and loyalty etc etc I'm gonna show you how it works in uh, the other videos and this will be it for stream elements I don't know you can check it out if you wish switching back to Nixon so this was it for today. I hope you liked the stream elements. We're going to talk about this more in depth uh, probably in uh, the coming videos. So tell me in a comment down below, what do you think about stream elements? Do you think it's better than Streamlabs? Or have you been using for stream elements from the very, very beginning? I'm really interested uh, in uh, your opinions. So well, thank you for being here with me. This will be it for uh, today. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want more videos about uh, streaming and maybe probably specific about stream elements itself. And I'm going to see you in the next video. See ya.